All right, today we're going to take a look at Callaway's Apex DCB. Yep, this is a you know traditional looking golf club to some extent. You know, for a players, uh, not players, it's, it's a really game improvement club. Um, you know, a relatively wide sole, not crazy. Uh, it's not massive or anything. It's got quite a bit of camber on it, you know, front to back, and also both directions. Um, so if you're real, if you're a little bit steep, this is probably a good golf club as well. Yeah. Um, pretty wide handicap range too. Let's look at the numbers and see what it kind of says uh, about this club. Well, we gave this benefit of the doubt, and we put it in the the game in. Oh, sorry, the, the, player player in the game. Yeah. So yeah, yep. we saw it for both because that's what we do use it for. Yeah, and it is really. Yeah. And all the things that you commented on, 100. percent You know, the sole width is, is is nice and round and beveled. It gets out of the ground. Yep. Uh, it's a good long, long stretch of handicap here. So right. um, numbers wise, great distance, 164. Uh, Loft is a little strong, 20, 29 in the seven, but not not as strong as some that we not see. Crazy, yeah. Stopping powers off a little. Yeah, you're not, gonna give up some when yeah. you get the stronger lofts. Um, <laughs> and it's definitely you see there the rate in the overall is a little better than the tour, which you'd expect. Right, you'd expect that for sure. Um, spinning not not so great. We spin a ton. Oh. But so we, I mean, <laughs> how how high do you go? Um, I think you can, you know, a twenty five handicap or so could play this thing. Really, I, I, I mean, so. eighteen is probably you know. Kind of where you're talking, uh, the ballpark. I mean, the meat and potatoes of this is probably you know, ten to twenty. Yeah. Um, but you know, even higher handicaps that have got some talent, they think are going to get better or whatever. They don't want anything super big and clunky looking. You know, it's a really good golf club. We sell a lot of these, right? Yes. So yeah. I mean, this is uh, you know, your older guy like me or something, maybe maybe a little higher handicap than me, um, that wants something that looks you know reasonable, uh, but it's relatively forgiving and pretty long. And this is good. All round. I will say there's one downside a little bit to this is, you know, this head's pretty heavy. Yeah. Um, when we build these clubs and stuff, we try not to go too much longer than standard. I think it's probably designed primarily to have a graphite shaft in it, so it's yeah. a little bit heavier head. So. And that matches into the handicap yeah. range. And so I, if you're going to go half inch long or inch longer, it's probably not a great golf club for that. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it's it's great for you know, a wide range of people. I, I think again. A little bit of angle of attack stuff. Sole design's great. Yep. And they're really good quality forgings, so they feel right. awesome. They really, they really do feel pretty good. Yeah, is it, it, when you're looking at most handicap clubs that go up to 25, cast, you know, hidden pockets, they might sound a bit louder. This thing hasn't got any of that. It's really that no. player's feel with the handicap advantage. Yep, yep. It's, it's a good golf club around. Like I said, it's one of our top sellers, and for that, you know, 10 to 12 to 18, 20 handicap, it's a, it's a great golf club. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. Thanks.